to JMC Creates. My name is Jackie McKissick and today I am going to make another version of this card. I'm actually going to do it in similar colours. This is the Spellbinders Colourful Pumpkins September 24 Stencil of the Month. Right? So it's got five stencils. So here we go with number one. I'm going to start with... Let me see if I can get some of that pink off there. Right. And I'm going to start with tattered rose. Like this. Round and round and round she goes where she stops. Nobody knows. So, my grandson has decided that he is going to be an entrepreneur, apparently, or make his own business. He's away to school with a pile of sweets that he bought. He asked the school's permission. They said, OK, you have to give us £5 a month. <laughs> so they were all right with it. So I'm all right with it. Actually, I'm not. I'm nervous. Because I don't want his... I don't want him ending it up annoyed about it. Which could possibly happen. And I'm just going in now with a little dark. Colour on the bottom of the pumpkins. See it would help if I could speak. Wait I see that. Where's that? There it's. So, are any of these pumpkins upside down? No, they're not. Is that the way of it? No, it's not. It's this way. No, it's not. It's this way. This one comes down here. Okay, just making sure I don't have anything upside down. They're all upside down that way. I give up. I can't, I can't decision what way is right and what way is wrong. So I'm just going to do whatever the heck I please. Who says pumpkins have to be orange? Because this is going to be an any day card. One, two. Nope, can't remember how I did it like that. There, along the top and the bottom. Okay, so next colour will be, actually, it will be saltwater taffy. So it will, so just keep that one out. Okay, you just need, you need, the way I'm doing it, you need two colours for each pumpkin. I'm using two colours for each stencil and then one dark colour to shade it with. Okay, so this time I'm going to shade it with picked raspberry and just go down at the bottom with picked raspberry like that like that there okay so that's layer two done and the next layers will be purple then
Oops, don't move that, you silly. You silly gunnu. Right. That. So yes, I was telling you about TJ. So yesterday I was trying to teach him how he bought these multiplexes and I was trying to teach him how to price them by saying that you have to know how much you paid and then divide it by how many you have. So, and as for profit and loss, that just went right over his head. <laughs> By the time I was finishing it away, he says, I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> so, he's away to school with the stuff now. Print it out price sheets and that for him. So we'll see how he gets on today. Oh no, I want to do a bit of a darker one, don't I? I do. Where is the darker one? And I'm just going to go with whatever's on this brush. Because it's quite dark. Okay. There we go. Number two. And because this is going to be an anything card, you can do whatever you want. Like that. There we go. Right, now I'm going to do it in... In... Um, and where is the seedless preserves? There it's seedless preserves, which is what's on this brush mostly. Okay, and this is the last of the pumpkin stencils. And the next layer will put on a uh, The brown bit in the middle, whatever you want to call it. The stalk, I don't know what you call that bit. But anyway. Right. So, and then I'm going to go in with some villainous potion on the bottom. Like that. Just for a bit of shading. Let me see. There we go. Good to go. Now the next one I don't have one out for. I'm going to do gather twigs. Like that. Okay, and then this is just the finishing touch of my card. So it will be interesting to see how he feels about it when he comes home. Because I told him he has to keep an eye on the money box, so I had to get him change. So... And, and we priced the stuff so that he didn't need ones or twos for change. He could basically use fives, tens, twenties and fifties. I was expecting the school to shut it down, to be honest with you. 
I was kind of hoping they would shoot it down because then I wouldn't have no worry and <laughs> no stress about it. But apparently they see it as a development, a good development. So, hey, whatever floats their boat. Right, I have to take that bottom bit off because this is... This is 4 by 5, 5. So that needs to go down to 'll just put this on before Madame comes and lies down in front of me and refuses to let me work. Isn't that right, Fluffy? Isn't that what you do? You're peeing the butt, aren't you? Yes, you are, pretty girl, peeing in the butt. Good girl. So that is going on to our card base then. And that's us pretty much finished apart from our sentiment. Like that. And I have this Alina Cuttle. stump and die see it and that's what I'm going to use to pop up my sentiment okay so I've just stuck my sentiment on in the middle and I'm going to stick some gems on just for a little bit of bava vim so purple and pink Green, blue, purple and pink. Let's do these ones. Oh, come on. There we go. Oops, I left it. Right, my purple, I need a purple, I need a purple, okay, and another purple up there, and then I'm going to do a little pink one down there. that and that's my card for today that's version one version two the only thing sentiments are different cardstock is different and that's it i really like those cards i do really happy with them so thank you for stopping by much appreciate it please remember to thumbs up etc I hope you're all safe and well, and until the next time, Jackie out.